Hello and welcome. This week I'd like to show you a trick on how to reset the ECM chip on your bike in case you ever get stuck. Hang out and I'll show you this quick little trick that I learned. Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the channel. If you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. This week is a real handy dandy trick to reset the ECM on your Harley. If you've got a newer bike, that ECM controls everything. And if you've seen the awful video I had on um, the experience we had in our trip in Florida when my bike just all of a sudden decided to shut down at 70 miles an hour, it was the ECM that was causing the problem. It just said, I've got an error, I'm gonna shut down. Now, I was very fortunate because I wasn't on an interstate, otherwise I could have ended up being the uh, bug on a windshield, shall we say. So through that experience, we learned a trick on how to reset the ECM. And it was actually the dealership that explained what we had been doing trying to get the bike restarted had actually reset the ECM. The ECM, if you think about it, it is the computer that controls your bike. Everything is that way nowadays. And if it's a computer without a monitor screen, so when it kind of has an error message, you have no idea, it'll all of a sudden just shut things down and we think everything's broke, but it's actually kind of like when your iPhone just kind of shuts down. It needs to be reset. Now, I will tell you guys that this is kind of a warning that for anybody that has a newer bike and you're doing your three fluid chain oil changes because you don't want to take it to the dealership, which is fine, I totally get it, but you're never gonna get the ECM updates that need to be done. So I recommend that every once in a while, you take the bike in, let the service department, talk to the service department and say, hey, I wanna check on any kind of updates for my ECM. Also, those that are having your bike regular service, always ask if there's any updates. A lot of dealerships don't normally do an automatic update to the ECM because we all have aftermarket tuners or something. And if they do an update, it's set for the factory setup, not necessarily yours. So they don't necessarily always do them because it could cause other conflicts because they're computers. You, you gotta remember that that is part of the heart of the bike. So that's just something to consider. Um, now I have it as a habit. When we take our bikes in, we'll ask, is there any ECM updates? Okay. Now let's get to the trick. <laughs> You're gonna be kind of amazed at how easy this is to reset the system. Actually, we were doing it by accident on the side of the road and didn't even realize it. What you need to do is you're gonna have your bike turn the ignition on. It'll go through all the cycle. Let me make sure my radio is off. Let it go through and then turn it off, okay? Let it kind of reset itself and then do that again. You're gonna turn it back on, let it cycle through everything. Let it cycle through everything and then turn it off. You're gonna do that again five to six times. Turn it on, let it cycle through. Boom, boom, boom. Turn it off. Five to six times, that's all it takes. It's still chirping. Five to six times, and that resets the ECM basically back to our factory default. At that point, you should have your controls and everything back and everything should be good. When I did mine in Florida, if you remember, I, the first time I turned it, tried to turn it back on, I had no throttle response. <laughs> Nothing was working. It would rev up to to uh, 2,500 RPMs and I had no throttle response. Turned it off, did that. Well, we ended up doing that probably about five, six times not realizing it. And that's how I was able to get it back to uh, get it up to Tallahassee without any problems. Now, keep this secret. Share it with your friends, I should say. Don't keep it a secret. 
but always remember you have that in the back or keep a link to this video so that in case you ever need to reset that ECM, you can do it pretty easy until you get that update. Well, hopefully you found this informative and helpful and that you don't ever have to use this actually is what I'm hoping for you. Well, if you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you on the highways.